Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to more of Sun the Sea Submarina. And we're going on a shopping trip. We are going shopping. Uh, we've accumulated quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of money. We we gave a item to the alarming scholar, and he was very alarmed. He was so happy. He gave us a thousand, a thousand echoes, which was fantastic. So now we have one thousand four hundred and eighty-eight, and. I've formed a kind of plan. It's probably not the best plan. I've never progressed this far in this game before. So it's all fresh. It's all new. It's all sparkling. And we needed a plan, I felt. So I, I spent a few minutes before pressing the record button just having a look at the shops and deciding what to do with my ill-gotten gains. And uh, this is it. This is what we're going to do. We have got no supplies. We've got quite a bit of fuel, but we've got no supplies. So we're going to have to buy supplies at 20 echoes a piece. That means I'm going to be losing at least 400 echoes to that, I'd say, because I'd like quite a few supplies to take with us. Uh, I also need fuel, uh, but we'll, we'll come along to that in, in, in a second anyway. So I was thinking, we want to keep hold of the Sinterlac. We need seven of those altogether. We already have three and we know where we can get it from, although we won't be able to afford it this time around. I'm hoping we come across it just in the the day-to-day -day playing of the game, as we only need three. It's I think it's doable. We could go back and see the the rats and the, and the guinea pigs. I think they might give me some if I'm you know very nice to them. So we need to start upgrading stuff. Basically, I've decided to upgrade everything a little, as opposed to one big thing like just the engines or or just the guns. So I was thinking. Now, uh, again, I, I was looking to make sure I don't make any silly buys here because we're not going to get as much money back. We would go for the Cottage and Half a Sage Denunciation, which puts our weapons up quite a lot. So it's hull damage of 15. As it stands right now, we're only hitting for 8. So that's almost double damage, which I think is pretty good. We can start killing stuff, which is all very, very, very good. So let's buy one of those. Ha, ha, ha. And on that same thing, we can sell that for 10. And then we need to go to the Caminus Yard. No, not the Caminus Yard. the Iron and Misery Company. And we were going to buy the Lead Beater Stain Rod Illyrian. I think that is. And that only puts us up by a fifth of what we've got already. But again, it is better than what we've got. So can't moan at that. I was teetering on whether we should actually just step straight up to the Lead Beater and Stain Rod Bodicea, uh, which is, well, pretty much double our power output but then it leaves us open on on if we get into any battles and as we go further to the east i feel bigger monsters will probably come around and try and eat us so it's probably best as i said just to upgrade everything just a little just a tiny little and then we can focus properly next time around so with that in mind let's buy that and sell that cool that leaves us with 500 and then i was looking at these lamps and th they give me extra mirrors some of them cost me a little bit more uh, in, in other areas like veils but again for 100 echoes I thought well why not mirrors for 100 should we do it one one mirror we've got 33 at the moment hmm then again we could probably use that to better better use couldn't we no let's not do that the other thing I was looking at is London uh, just getting uh, another crew member because I don't like six I think for the sake of 30 echo uh, it might be worth just getting some of those. So, an eager seeming crowd of Zaylas consumed all the beer you buy and then melts away. You're left with a single strab strabismic melancholy seaman who wants to know if he can bring his pickled monkey aboard. I'll pad the bottle with straw, he promises. Well, not being the type of guy to want to separate a man from his monkey, that is fine by me. So, oh, and we only lost 15 Echo. Uh, because we failed. That's fine. Because we've still got one crew, and we've lost the Terry as well. Yeah, that's good. I, I can live with that. I can live with that. So, back to the shops. We need to buy as much fuel and supplies as we can master. We've only got 20 cargo, simply because I want to spend as much time out on the Z as possible, and get as much out of the journey as possible. And with that in mind, let's buy as many... Oh, do I want to buy the flares and the candles, like I said last time? Probably not this time around. Probably not this time around. Let's buy lots of supplies. So, uh, five. Got to watch our cargo hold. We've got 13 fuel. So, if I take that to 33 cargo, that's 13 supplies. Fuel burns quicker than 
than supplies. And we can always get supplies, I think, easier out on the Z than we can fuel. So let's fill up with fuel. And that leaves us with 163 Echo to take out on the planes, on the, on the Z, which I don't think is too bad. 20 fuel, 13 supplies. It's the best we've got so far. And we're like, what, eight episodes in? Seven episodes, eight episodes in? So can't moan, can't moan. Let's crack on. Why won't it work? Oh, we didn't install an engine. Good point. Let's install an engine. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so that goes onto the engines. That goes onto the gun. And now we're ready to rock. So our deck is 13 to 17 now, plus 9 bonus. So Oh, so we hit pretty hard. We should be able to take out the uh, the Jiddy Fleurs and the Crabs within one or two shots. Uh, again, life damage is exactly the same. Um, we can... For, yeah, see, the warmer time doesn't get any better. It's still 3.6, but we've got decent speed. So can we leave now, please? Hey, here we go. Now, we don't need to have the light on just for the time being. So should we turn that off for a second? Let's crank this bad boy up. Whoa, hold on to your hats. That's way too quick. Way too quick. Right, so what are we going to do? I was thinking, because we heard of the lovely restaurant in Vendorblight, we'd go and hit that first. So straight on up. We'll go to Hunter's Keep. Uh, then hit vendor bite and then possibly wither was it wither where the nice restaurant was oh, we're gonna hit both anyway we're gonna get all these port reports and i'm thinking because well let's face it they lied to us about where the sea of lilies would be they said center east which is here and all we found is nuncio that we'd uh sort of come across the north side of the map and then straight down head to nuncio and try and square this this part of the map off and and get like a boundary to it and uh, just see what we come across really see what happens see what happens let's do it it's kind of like what i'm doing at the moment uh, when i am waiting for my videos to render i've noticed uh, especially with my large videos like the uh, the curious expedition which at the moment we're running between one and a half to two and a half hours which is a uh, ridiculous uh, um, I'm having to wait up to three three and a half hours for them to render and uh, that's a lot of time of doing nothing because obviously a lot of the CPU time is or a lot of the CPU power is used up on that so it's a case of what do I do with my time and there's only so many YouTube videos you can watch at once so I'm waiting for my uh, port thing to come on in uh, so um, I've taken to ah, let, let's try here. Yeah. Let's try out, let's try out the new, uh, the new turret. No, oh, they're coming for us. They're coming for us. Boom! One shot it. Awesome. That's what we were after. So um, I have been taking uh, an old game out uh, of, of my library and uh, just playing that because it's low on CPU usage. What shall we do? Uh, what's our terror like? We could go for the supplies. It's not going to knock a lot off. Forty-three. Let's. We're out for a long time. Let's get the terror down. One terror. Oh, hardly worth it, but never mind. So I've been playing Boulder's Gate, the uh, the enhanced version. We can afford to put the light on now. And uh, what I tend to do on each section of the map, which I haven't discovered yet, is I'll go around the edge of it and then I'll fill in the inside. So I figure, we'll, and that's working out pretty well for me. So I figure we'd do the same in this game. What's the worst that can happen, eh? What's the worst that can happen? Let's go visit the sisters. So. Hunter's Keep. What can we do? Uh, so we've been with Lucy. We've been with Cynthia. Uh, we can go with Phoebe, I suppose. Let's uh, yeah, let's get a port report first. Uh, Phoebe is soft voiced, watchful, and un unpredictable. Mm. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages, of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a soft a song only she can hear. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. The effect is hypnotic. Yes, not my sneezing, that is. Uh, your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The underzee shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on the black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spine things pulse into the depths. There is a scent that, like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and bath Oliver biscuits. Mm. 
Yeah, she's obsessed. Okay, so we've got a memory of distant shores. We're getting acquainted. That's good. We've got an extra supply. Always good. Uh, lost 28 hunger. Awesome. Lost 5 terror. And uh, the gods of the Z. Storm's attention quality. Uh, okay, so that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. It's uh, it's, it's knocked out our, our uh, supplies, which is awesome. Let's turn that light off. I still don't feel like I've got enough fuel. That's 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 my only... Uh, my only worry. Do we hit pig mode? We're going to be getting off uh, off course if we hit pig mode. We can always hit pig mode on the way back if things don't go according to plan. Which sometimes they don't. What we got here? Right, okay. So we've got a little shippy ship ship. We're going to go... A pirate steam pinnace. Right, let's let's give this a whirl. I'm going to sneak up on these blighters. If we can sort of get on their tail, we should be good. I don't think they've seen us yet. Oh lordy, they're going to see us. Get the first shot in. Down to three. <laughs> see, look at them. They know not to mess. They know not to mess. How very dare you. Oh, we only lost five. That's not so bad. What do you have for me? Loot and scuttle her. Cache of curiosities. And we have a cake of supplies. Two supplies. Awesome. Hard tack and water and an unexpected box of nails. Always good. A would-be wit remarks that the nails look tastier than the hard tack until an officer's glare silences her. Silence, woman. Silence. Right. So, not too bad. Our supplies are looking better. That's for sure. And we're coming up to... Is it Venderbite first, I think? Hornman Stag. In Kalisasasas Point. On the horizon, a sickly yellow light glimmers for a moment, then fades. Let's turn the light off. No need around here. Oh, recurring nightmares. You have begun to dream of a vast eye. It knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. Okay. Again and again, you are alone on the wide black Z. The eye is aware. Your nightmare will come upon you from time to time. Inspiring terror. That's not good. Gain restful nights at your lodgings to help you re resist it. If you defeat it, you may gain a secret. Ooh. Okay. Well, not a lot I can do whilst I'm on the sea. Other than pop into Venderbice and say hello. It's gone very quiet. Oh, is this a bat swarm? Is this a bat swarm? No, no, just rat. Yes, it is a bat swarm. Wow. Get off. Full reverse. Full reverse. Oh, I have no idea what I'm firing at. Oh, thankfully, my gunners do. How very dare you. That knocked 10 off me. Can you believe that? Alright, so what we're going to do. Uh, we could... Our tower is 33. That's not too bad. Or we could take our hunger off. But terror will go up if we eat them. Let's... Because we might get some food at Vendor Bites. So let's uh, reduce the terror again. Two terror this time. That's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Bloody bats. Rats of the skies, I tell you. Rats of the skies. Luminescent beasts like the eyeless dolphins play in your wake. I couldn't think of a ho more horrible sight. Eyeless dolphins. The tomb colony of Venderbite. Right, so what we got here? We can visit a certain little restaurant. This is the place. Uh, we can have a dusty glass of wine. What's that going to cost me? Uh, I think that just knocks down our terror, which I'm not too fussed about. Uh, we could explore Venderbite. Do we have to... Restaurant recommendation. So we're not going to lose that. So let's do the restaurant recommendation first. Seeing as that's all shiny and new. Shiny and new. Fine cuisine in Venderbite. Now that would be something. A corkscrewed street. At the twisty tip of an odd little side street. Welcoming yellow light glows from the gilt lettered windows of a restaurant. A sign reads, Vengeance of Jonah. Mm. A beefy tomb colonist bustles up. A grey moustache pokes impertinently out from under his bandages. Come in, come in. So we've got a bandage poisoner. Or is it Prasonia? <laughs> I think I'll stick with Prasonia. Poisoner's not good. Our vendor bite seeks passage from a Z captain sympathetic to intrepid cuisine. He found the vengeance of Jonah. Okay, and we've lost a terror. It's a cramped little place, but much better lit than most places in the tomb colonies. The sense of the dishes are multitudinous and extraordinary. Are they good? They might be. They might be good. It's difficult to tell. All right, so we can't recruit... 
Wow, because he's mega expensive. Uh, we've got no strange ca uh, captures to offer them. Sample today's special, a matter of luck. Slightly in our, in our favour, though. Uh, the food here is exceptional. You need not fear poisoning or boredom. Definitely not boredom. This is usually a more effective way of reducing terror than purchasing a dusty glass of wine. You will also reduce hunger. Well, that's always good. 60 Echo. It's quite expensive. Quite expensive. Uh, well, for the sake of reducing, echo, um, reducing terror, let's do it. You eat with gusto and leave with relief. But what night you dream of the rivering river? What watercourse where parabola flax grows and nightmares spawn? Perhaps the vengeance of Jonah has been purchasing their spices from behind mirrors again. And oh, we were unlucky. What? Okay, we've lost two terror anyway. And we've lost lots of money. Uh, was it worth it? I guess we'll see in the long run. We can visit the first curator. Not much point there. Uh, let's... Let's get our, our port report next, because why not? Because why not? And then, what to now? Uh, we can explore the last tour operator. Ho, oh, Captain, I have one dozen sad and bandaged souls here. They're choosing their final fate. Will you take them on one last diversionary tour? Or diversionary tour? It may be a longish trip. Make sure you have enough supplies. This will replace 12 supplies with 12 tomb colonists who you'll need to take to three destinations in the Untersea. Mouse over the objective tomb colonist quality to learn the destination of each village. Visit. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's explore. <laughs> Here they favour candlelight over the gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. In a wide space between the hollow temple, you happen across a stepped platform of sorts. Four statues guard it, marked with glyphs, all but lost to time and idle vandalism. They look a little like the glyphs that decorate the Echo Bazaar in London, though. At the heart of the platform is a long-filled well shaft, too. You poke about briefly, but something in the place makes you uneasy. A frost moth, the size of a farmer's hand, flutters down to perch on the well's edge. Another, a third, you retreat. So we've gained a terror, got some fragments, and that's all for now. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's just check the shops. Uh, yeah, see, everything's getting a bit more expensive now. I don't think I have anything else to offer. Vision of the surface, we could do. It's only 15 Echo, though. Recent news, again. Do I really want to be getting rid of these? We've only got one of each. It seems like we don't. My issue is I don't know what everything does, so it seems silly to waste it unless I know what happens. Before was a bit of a calculated risk. We gave that thing to the scholar and he gave us a thousand echo, which to me would seem like a good deal. But it seems when they're only worth, you know, 12 to 20 echo, is it really worth selling them? Or is it best just to keep hold of them and uh, hope that they'll be better used elsewhere? either to further the story, or maybe you get offered more money, you know? You never know. Well, I don't know anyway. I don't know. We're just winging it. It's more fun that way. Now, I'm trying to keep away from this uh, stuff. Boreal Reach, is this, is this snow? Touch it, and it puffs to vapour. Your crew huddles close to the warmth of pipe and funnel. We have entered a fog bank. Our gunner struggle to see our foe. That's fine. I don't think there's anything here. We'll just stick to the edge. Our terror is pretty low right now. We're doing alright. 33. Considering how high it was before. And nothing seemed to happen to us. So I don't mind it going up a little. Luminescent beasts like eyeless dolphins play in your way. Jeez, these dolphins are following us. That's not good. That can't be good. Eyeless dolphins. How do they follow us if, if they've got no eyes? That's a question in itself. Must be the smell. We've been at sea for quite a while now, you know. Alright, so we've got Codex. We'll come back to that. We're going to be sweeping in this direction anyway. I don't know whether to just clear these two little black things here. Just, you know, for the sake of being a completionist and open up the entire entire map. Which we could do. It's probably a waste, but hey-ho. So Wither. Wherever we see what's in Wither today. Oh, and a lifeberg. Keep away from you. 400. I don't think our guns are that good yet. Boom. Right, so... 
The house of the question, northwest of River Town, the house of the question stands alone. Here, the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the deep Z, and perhaps a fourth who is not a god. It's the one place in River where you can sometimes get a straight answer for a prize. Right, so, ask about the drowned man. The initiates of the house are reluctant to speak of him, but you may be able to bribe them enough to gain a few tenuous snippets. How much? No. <laughs> Defy the gods. No. No, we're not going to upset anyone, because I've learned that the gods mean business, and uh, I am not a businessman today. Behind the great arch, over the bay, the pale waist stretch, white and silent as they face of the moon. From here, you might also imagine they were snow. North of the city, the salt poo pools fizz with unlikely colour. So we can explore if that's something awaits us. We can gather intelligence. Court reporting it. Uh, shore leaving with us. Straightforward challenge. 92%. And it will reduce our terror. It's gonna, well, it is going to cost us 50 echo. I'm not too sure if I want to do that. As I said, I want to keep a bit of money because you never know. You never know. Let's gather intelligence. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. Awesome. Uh, let's explore. You fall into a, a reverie as you wander the shore. There are words in the wind, a story of sorts, of a gate in the north, of a power light that began there, of a drowned light that will end there, of a high wilderness that offers sh other ships may sail. You lift your eyes. On the wall of the salt walks, where, where on the wall of a salt works, someone has scored, is there a sea more sunless? I would say no. Or else it would just be another sunless sea. You've gained ten fragments. We've... Uh, Got Storm's attention. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I think. I hear Stone's the best one. From what I've read so far, Stone seems to be the more amicable of the of the Storms to have watching over you. The rest are there just to give you a, a bad time. To ruin your day. To scruff up your hair. So our fuel and supplies are going okay right now. Um, it, as I said, it seems like we're moving marginally quicker. It is only a fifth quicker, but I suppose any sort of quickiness... Is better than nothing. We might have to start trading uh, supplies for terror soon, though, if we see any more bats or crabs or jelly flu. But even so, to Codex, to Codex, do you have anything of interest to me, Codex? Uh, here we can just compile a port report. So that would be no. The exiles seem many come, fewer leave. We've read all this, but we've got a port report. Any shops? Yes, but it's all very expensive, so not too fussed on that. Let's crack on. Right, so now we are heading into the unknown. Well, in a second we'll be heading into the unknown. I just want to clear these two little black areas on the map. Because I'm a bit anal like that. As it turns out, there is a few islands down here we haven't seen yet. So something might come of it. And again, I'm quite happy to leave the light off with our terror only being at 37 he says as he turns the lights on. This is just to see if we discover anything. That's the one. We enter the storm bones. Saint Elgius sends his fire to dance in the dark. One on deck, very far away, we see the great light of the ragged crow. Chongyi Rift. That be that cleared. Northwards. Back into the light. Nothing ever has could as good has come from being in the dark nothing good has ever come from being in the dark there we go that's what i meant to say oh it's very hard to be poetic that's another fuel gone oh we've got a lighthouse horn pressing the h will blow your horn this has no useful function and may provoke the device even these hostile vessels then why do it let's do it ah oh, there we go <laughs> the lookout shouts. Far above, the false stars in the cavern roof are shifting. A rare and ominous event. What now? Eyes on deck. Forbid them to look. You can't really stop them, but you can at least discourage discussion. They won't like it, but it's safer. Or we can recall the change and assign a name. It's 50%. And if the new shape seems well omened, the crew may be cheered. Who knows? Let's do it. Pigs, one sailor's eyes. It's always pigs. Ah, oh, it's only the one terror. We've lost a bit of the old terrors anyway so I'm not too fussed by that we are entering unknown waters so let's get that light on I'm very disappointed we haven't found the sea of lilies yet I know we're looking in completely the wrong direction now but I did go to where it told me to go and there is nout there not a sausage is there anything to show me 
I don't want to go too far into the uh, into the ice. Can't see there being much up there. And as it stands, it's clear anyway. We'll turn it off for a second. Fed the crew. See, I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm, I'm not too worried about it right now. Back down into here. Get, get around the light. Just stop that terror building up a little bit too much. A belch of smoke goes up from the funnel. Oh, it's snowing. Well, it looks like snow. Snow sweeps down from the north. The ship's engines labour against it. Oh, dear. Well... That's fine. We've opened up this part. Let's turn around. Turn about. Head northeast into the unknown, please, sir. Bosun, keep it up. Get me out of here. Don't like going slow. Kill kills the fuel quicker. Got this new engine. For, and for what? And for what? Ah, uh, the safety of the lighthouse. I don't really want to be spending secrets right now. I don't actually know how many secrets we've got. What? How would that be? Six. That's not too bad. We've got three tales of terror. As I said, I'm reluctant to get rid of them if I think they can be used elsewhere. It's very eerie near the north. There doesn't seem to be a lot. This might be a bad idea overall, but even so. We're just looking for anything really of use. Any port in a storm, snowstorm or foggy storm. There's no such thing as a foggy storm. Just making that up. This must be voids approach. The air crackles with frosty radiations. To the north, the false stars fail in the darkness. Yeah. Burning blue. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light, even as you watch the blue fades. But it's not a good omen. Uh, we don't have a Z story. So there's a perfectly natural explanation. Uh, 72. It's on our side. It's on our side. Let's do it. Your crew measured and rational speech does, does you no good. Your crew knock no bad luck when they see it. Oh dear. Well, it's only one more terror. That's fine. Let's put the light on. Let's, uh, let's keep them happy. And we're going to loop down yet? Should we loop down? See what's down here? Should we go into the fog, into the mist? Have you seen that film? Again, nothing good comes from being in the mist. <gasps> what the hell are you? Mount Nomad? Uh, no. Uh, light off. Let's lose you in the fog. My lord. He's a big one. You know something I haven't been doing as well, and I completely forget about when playing this game? That's using the Z-Bat. Maybe we should do that in these unknown waters. That's something I should probably keep on top of. Even so, we've come across something here. What are you? Can we swing you in? The Chapel of Lights. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure many a, a hardened sea captain has ran into the jetty before. Nothing to worry about there. All right, do we do Restless Nights? Let's see what happens. Uh, we can ignore them. Yeah, I think we better ignore them. We lose a terror for it, it's not so bad. Right, the Chapel of Lights. Furtive faithful gather in the shadows between the many, many candles. A bell tolls in the chapel tower. Cracked iron laughter. Beware, the aisle is full of voices. So we can eat at the chapel's bounty, which we have a hunger of. It's not that high, it seems a waste, but even so, I suppose if we're going to be heading off anyway, might as well do that. Um, give a nightmare to the well, where we've got plenty of those. Hmm. The well drinks colour this morning, priest whispers. The well drinks dreams and the well is always thirsty. So this will reduce our nightmare strength, but will also scar you. Mm, don't really want to take a hit on that. Now uh, we can get our port report, I suppose that is. A smiling priest in a red kazakh tends the chapel. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, you note the name of a ship or two. What else do you offer? Attend a service at the chapel. The great bell tolls. The few and ragged faithful gather for St. Arthur's lesson. Bring your offerings. Uh, five supplies. I don't really want to be giving away that many supplies. Uh, let's just eat. See what happens. 
A smiling priest unlocks the door of the storehouse for you. Here, he says, eat, but take nothing away with you. They have shark steaks plucked from the sea, thin slices of cavern tuna, translucent and delicate as paper, little crimson cakes flavoured with cinnamon and coated with poppy seeds, devilled pork kidneys on crusty bread. Gorge yourself. Leave with the juices dripping from your chin. Um, we are, now have a menace. Uh, you have the cannibal taint. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's probably not good. Uh, yes, that, that would appear all we can do here. Everyone seems rather happy. And I think that's where we should leave it for this episode. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.